Uh, good morning, guys. It's Anthony with NPC Adventure here. We have a cool job actually in Port Jeff. So we're actually right by the marina, or the ferry. And of course, is one of those stupid things. I hate those things. They're supposed to kill them, but like... <laughs> give them another couple seconds to live. <laughs> um, but here's our girl. It's a nine liter, I believe. I believe one of our coworkers <coughs> was here recently to do the, uh, the startup and all that. So here's our main line. Nice. Can actually see what's going on in there. I don't think this is a turbo unit because it's, <coughs> it's only 100 kW, so I'd imagine it's just a uh, an NA. Yeah. Yeah, we just got the exhaust coming straight up. Cool. Um, this is actually a six hour test. <laughs> so we're going to let this thing sing for about six hours. Um, what I'm probably going to do is get straight straight to work see what I can film um, yeah I, I thought I saw this on my board and I'm like hmm, this is the only thing I got I'm like that's a little strange what is this for you need a heater for it's weird um, but yeah I was like okay it was like a port Jeff load bank I'm like that's great that's not gonna be all day but I'm like six hours I'm like ah, I, I understand now <laughs> so uh, yeah let me get to work let me uh, grab some stuff get, get set up here and uh, we'll probably throw you guys on a head mount while we're doing some setup all right so 400 amp breaker three pole uh, they already have two feeders in each lug so that should be fine um, I want to make sure that that's an e-stop first but um, someone messed up because I only have six feeder cables here I don't have any wires for the ground so there's there's literally six of them here and then if I walk over here, and then I got my power cord, power cord in there, but that's it. Like, where's where's the rest? Where's the where's the ground? Um, I guess we're gonna have to roll without, or I'm gonna try to get with some one of the uh, one of the guys from the shop to bring it to me. At least I have a ground wire on, you know. So we'll see what happens with that. But I'm gonna throw you guys on a head mount, get that stuff disconnected, taped up, taped up, tape off the neutrals. Actually, I'm gonna leave the neutrals because I don't have the ground cables. So, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna disconnect all that and um, get that going. Get these connected. We're probably gonna stack those. The heat goes outward, so I'll probably put them like over here, and then there's a face all that way. So, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get rolling. It's funny if you uh, if you see traffic coming in from over there, uh, that's literally the ferry entrance. It's literally right in front of us. So. Let's uh, see what size that is. Okay. This guy back. Avoid having anything touch. Um, 
It might get. It's probably gonna get loud. I don't know how. I can't really talk over it, but you'll get the you'll get the idea. Um, we're gonna run it. I'm gonna turn on the load banks. Um, probably put like maybe half load. I think it's a hundred kW, right? Uh, yeah. So we'll probably do like maybe half load. Um, that's already at half. We'll shut that off for now, but we'll probably do that. So let's do that. You're not gonna be able to hear me, but um, you'll get the idea. And then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Monitoring this thing in the van is pretty cool. So let's give it a fire up, um, give it a run, and uh, then we got six hours to go. So uh, let's get to it. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. How cool is that? So we got about 40 kW on that. Temperature is 110 degrees. Oil pressure is something I'm concerned about. You see it's 70, right? 71, 70. Uh, oil pressure is probably gonna drop. I don't know why, but these nine liters don't like to run with, with high oil pressure. And it's, it's weird. Um, there's been a couple that I've done where they've only ran maybe 20 PSI at idle. So we'll see how low this one gets, but um, yeah, this is, uh, this is a cool part, right? So we can monitor the generator from here and um, you know make runs go back and forth, make sure it's all good. But for the most part, we can have it all set up right here, which is great. Cause then I could have my iPad and I could fill out the uh, load, rank, load bank report as it's happening. So we, we could do it right in the comfort of our van. So it's perfect. So um, let me get this thing running at full load. Let me get started on some paperwork, get everything set up. Uh, I got to call into dispatch, let them know what's going on. And then, um, yeah, we'll give you uh, updates periodically. Like I said, it's a big test. So I don't know how much is going to be filmed because it's redundancy, you know? It's a six hour test for basically, we're not really doing much. You're just running loaded, right? So the generator is running with its load. So that scene, nothing's going to change from that scene. So it's all gonna be the same, but we'll see what we could do. I'll keep you guys informed. Right guys, we have been running for a little over two hours now, maybe like two and a half hours. Um, I'm gonna go over there and I'll give you a heads up. Uh, I'll give you a walkthrough. Uh, like I said, generators running, load banks are running, so it's gonna get loud, but you'll get the idea. to it got another like three and a half four hours to go so all right guys figures right since we have less than an hour to go it starts raining i don't know if you could see that on the window but it started raining and you know how rain goes right if you have rain you shouldn't be doing a load bank but it only rained for like 10 ish minutes so i took one of the covers here and i put it on top over there to try to Make sure it doesn't get wet, but we're gonna keep an eye on the sky because I don't know. Sun's trying to come out, but that don't look good. I don't like that. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on that. All right, so we got about uh, I don't know 10 minutes or so left. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is actually turn the generator off, or maybe not turn it off, but we'll uh, we'll put you guys on the head mount and disconnect everything. Look at that thing. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put you guys on a head mount, 
turn the uh, load banks off probably, let the generator cool itself down, so it might get a little loud. Um, but I'll, I'll leave you guys rolling so you can see what's going on. this bad girl cool down for a little bit I wanted to uh, see how low the uh, temp got but really didn't get much lower than uh, 195 it's running loaded at 200 uh, usually you let it run for a little bit it'll come down like 10 or 12 degrees but didn't seem to uh, drop any but no big deal uh, I still have to disconnect the uh, the extension on the other side but you know what I'll probably do? I'll, uh, I'll probably leave it here, uh, do some cleanup, and um, I'll probably throw you guys on the dash for a drive home because we're in Port Jeff. So if you know anything about down port, wow, look at the sky. I'm sorry, I just got totally distracted. But um, yeah, we're down port, so it's kind of cool over here. But uh, yeah, it looks like the the sky's about to open. So let me, let me get everything cleaned up and I'll, uh, I'll come back in for the outro. I got too excited, I packed up and left. I uh, almost forgot to put the camera on. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so it was interesting because there was no uh, no people there. So we, it's not like we had to check in with the guy. The, the electrician called to make sure he didn't have to be there. And uh, I basically told him like, we're not doing any power transfers and stuff like that. We're literally just checking the generator, you know, loaded up on the load bank. So he really didn't need to be there. Um, there was another tech who was here doing the startup on Tuesday, so that's the day he would have been here. Um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, load banks are the best and worst part of the job because you're setting everything up, but you're really just watching the generator for six hours and you're just kind of sitting there making sure nothing weird happens, you know? So, it is a little boring sometimes, but, you know, you find stuff to make the time go by. There was a guy with a, uh, 
a giant boat in the marina that was trying to back it in or like trying to dock it wherever he was going. Um, man, was he struggling. <laughs> I was going to pull the camera out, but I'm like, you know what? I'll just let him cook. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're on our way home now. Like I said, we're in Port Jeff, so it's not like we're too far from home. So I'll let the camera roll for a little bit and then um, yeah, we'll be, we'll be good. We'll have a nice weekend. We have off for Labor Day, so that's good. Uh, this will, You'll probably see this after Labor Day, so by the time you see it, it Labor Day already passed. But nonetheless, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, thanks for the support. S truly appreciate every one of you watching the videos. Um, like I said, this is like a hobby of mine, and I I'm having fun. I think it's cool talking to you guys in the comments. And Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And um, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop,